Hello and welcome to another video. I've got a special guest today and just like him you will not believe where my workshop actually is. So I thought today we'll do a little bit of a workshop tour. Every single morning I always start off if I'm having a workshop day, a cup of coffee and I do my social media, I check the weather. If I need to I'll go and set the gazebo up outside because I always cut down all my sheet material and spray paint in the gazebo. The weather looks good today, so I'm not going to do this. So anyway, here's our special guest today. Hi, I'm Josh from Josh Taylor Woodworking. I've flown over from Australia to see some family and a new acquaintance and possible podcasting co-host. So we're going to do a workshop tour and he's going to show me around. Do you want to see the workshop? Let's go. Let's get going. This way. Up the stairs. And here we have it, the entrance to the workshop. So here it is. It is in fact a upstairs double bedroom. And this is where I do everything I do. It's my workshop, it's my studio for filming and photography. Um, well, let's show you around. You weren't kidding, mate. A good job. Talk us through it, mate. So, first off, I have just some boxes because when you're in a small workshop, every single little bit of space counts. So, we have some boxes here just for like some fillers, sandpapers, the 3D printing spares are in the bottom here. Um, of course, the 3D printer itself. Um, more storage up the top here for more 3D printing stuff. <laughs> we have some clamps just behind this key light here, all put to one side. Of course, the studio key light. Um, down the bottom here, we just have some random consumables, tapes, fillers, um, that sort of thing. Um, just around the corner here, I also have two bins which have some off cuts of the longer types in yeah there are a few tools that i wanted yeah. that couldn't be bought yeah so i designed them i printed them and there we have it um i've seen some on your website there, i think yeah so that is now going to be started up again soon and they will be on the website very very soon programs yeah um and this actually has some notes on for a podcast which we shall be doing very very shortly mm. um, I just find it's better to have things to write things down on notes etc so you can see them so you're not fuffling around I've got boards everywhere I've got notepads everywhere so on this part here we have <coughs> the clamp wall where my big ball clamps are I've got the sliding table for the CMS festival yeah a couple of spirit levels and um, this is the contact wall that you'll see a lot of my introductions are filmed up um, in this is actually the boiler with more wood and the CMS table. Amazing. Drying normally, it, drying up nicely though, the wood. Yeah, so it normally all lives in there, out the way. So it's a bedroom. Yeah. It's got to be a pre everything's at a premium space here. Yeah. So you've got exactly what you need and not no more. Exactly. So this is the wall that a lot of you will have seen on the YouTube. This is what I use for the backdrop. Former videos now. Yeah. Um, got a couple of drawers which are a new addition, just to put a few drill bits, a few little hand tools in. Lovely. Um, all my jigs for like worktops, um, sinks, the MFT, all slid down the side here. Uh, we have a little air compressor for running my nail guns. Of course, you can see some of the sustainers um, that I have my tools in. Uh, I always label everything as well with individual little label stickers. Nice. Um, I find otherwise that you can't see exactly what's in the boxes you've properly. Got, you've got a lot of Festool. Um, yeah, 90% of the stuff is indeed probably Festool or So you have spent a lot of money stuff. on it throughout the years. Absolutely. I do believe that the quality tools do pay for themselves. How long you had Festool? I've been using Festool for seven years now. How many tools you had break? There are Festool. That's a good Not question. Not one. Not one? No. Nope. I even gave one of my... My original plunge saw, yeah. I sold to the apprentice that's working for me for 
pennies yeah. just to give them that helping hand. Yeah. And I just use it to upgrade to the new battery well, one. Well, that's good to know, you know. It's for the people that are spending the money. Seven years, nothing's broke. I've not had one thing go wrong with any maybe of my tools. How much deep? 15,000, probably deep. 10,000, maybe. 15, 20. Yeah, 15, 20. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. So then we have the, of course, we have the French cleat wall with a few of the little tools on that I use. Yeah. Um, this is the main workbench that we use. Um, as you can see here, I have boxes. Low yeah. level, more festal. <laughs> yeah, um, I have drawers on this side. This is the side that I normally work from. Um, I have some glues, glue spreaders. I have some clamps, marking pencils, marking knives. So working is that you actually want everything to hand the whole time. Yeah. Because last thing you want to do is sort of kerfuffle around. And I did that in the earlier videos where I didn't have things to hand, and it just didn't work. So again, this has been replaced. This is another build that will be getting done in the next couple of weeks. This is on wheels. This was all made from scrap wood off a job. Yeah, lovely. Um, again, we have more sustainers on the back side because, as you can appreciate, I have an awful lot of tools and I need to keep them somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you've done really well with the space. Um, what's, I, what's the uh, measurements of your room in here? Um, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I would guess it's probably about just about 3.2 metres this way yeah. where I normally face the camera yeah maybe four meters across yeah so four by three meters roughly so it's actually the size of a slightly bigger than a single garage that's all I've got yeah. um, you've done amazing with this and then we've got cupboards up here with all the spray equipment in this corner Um, I have all the clamps now hanging up here so again when I'm working when I'm filming reach up yeah we get it Um. Just in shot up here, I've got an air filter. Um, again, this just gets rid of all those little particles that you can't see, you don't really notice, even though I do always run an extractor. Um, obviously, I don't run this while filming because it takes too much, it's too much noise. Um, Expensive. I bought that second hand for £100 off a friend off Facebook. Oh, cheap. Um, just replace the filter every couple of months, good to go. Um, I've got a studio light just here, out of shot. Um, and that sort of covers the main bulk of it. I mean, every nook and cranny that I've got somewhere, there's something hidden away. Yeah, you've used your walls, every single wall, haven't you? Yeah. As you just mentioned then, using wall space, wall space is a premium. French cleats, Yeah. they are such a time saver. And like in the videos that I've, I've shown you when I built this, you know, you don't want something there. You just take it off the wall, you move it, job done. You can, I've yeah, got, another, you can move it around, I've got another French cleat on the wall, sorry, on the entrance in. I've got another French cleat wall just here. Yeah. Um, it's just about maximising space because you've got nothing. I mean, above the window, again, I've actually got um, some oak trims yeah. that I've got left over from job. I've got some jigs up there that I've made. Um, Do you make a lot of your work from jigs? No, only on certain things. Like I've just recently made a belt sanding jig so I can use it as an oscillating yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The... Last bit of room that I have, the last wall in the room. Yeah. Um, I have my Rubio, um, sort of display if you like. Yeah, this is lovely. Look, they give you that for free. That so this became uh, as part of the package that we got when we went to the Ambassador UK event recently, yeah. uh, down in the meeting. Um, check out their Instagram page. It was some amazing pieces, which are being sold for charity that we all made together. Um, but I say yeah. So I've just got a display case of all the different types of Rubio. All the colours are indeed just in little pull out drawers with each colour inside so it sort of shows you what it can actually look like to the client. Yeah. Um, I've got some of my Rubio stock on the shelf here. Okay. Um, the backdrops when I do my final photo pieces up here. Um, they also hide a lot of junk like wires, boxes, that sort of thing. All my reference books, paperwork, instruction manuals are all on this shelf. And then we've just got a few more little things on the bottom, like other tools that I don't use very often. Um, but generally, that is what I do. I break all the sheet goods down on the driveway. Um, I call up here. Yeah. Everything's made in this one room. Yeah. And then if it needs spraying, back downstairs. Amazing. Into the gazebo sprayed. There has been occasions recently where it's just the one item that I do. And um, in that case, I'll just dexter this room up yeah. with some plastic cloths. And I just spray in here. Of course, making sure ventilation's going, windows are open, masks have been used. Because 
got to be very careful with little particles of paint, obviously, yeah. for getting in your lungs. So yeah, that's um, that concludes the shop tour, mate. Mate, it's amazing. Congratulations. Okay, everyone, uh, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you soon.